Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. For every tear, a victory. Kagadet ded itinwa, ket ada katukad, a balaygi. We remember that long ago, an Ilocano vow, and we intone today, para sa bawat luha, ay isang tagumpay. Uray kasano ituok ken rigan, mamati tayo, anarimat iti masakbayan tayo amin.
The wreath laying ceremony was led by His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines, accompanied by Honorable Matthew Marcos Manoto, Governor of Ilocos Norte, and General Romeo Bronner Jr., Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Diyan po nagtatapos ang pag-aalay ng bulaklak. May this wreath serve as a reminder of this great leader's unwavering dedication and admirable selflessness, and may his memory be forever cherished. May we all be seated. And now, for the start of our program, may we call on Ilocos Norte Governor Matthew Marcos Manoto for his message and introduction of the President. Diyos Tiyag Nina, naimbaga rabi. Maraming salamat, naimbaga bigat. Maraming salamat at magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Unang-una, of course, allow me to welcome back home our President and my dearest uncle, His Excellency President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. and the members of the first family, my family as well. Uh, pasensya na po, hindi ko daw uh, mabati kayo uh, isa't isa kasi sabi ng protocol officer na bawal. So generic na lang po ang aking uh, pambati sa inyo. Uh, of course, the heads of our uniform personnel, the consulate of the People's Republic of China, our provincial officials, our city and municipal officials, of course, our mayors, vice mayors, and councillors. Our puno, barangays at lahat ng ating mga barangay officials. The, all our guests from the national government agencies and also from the non-government sector. Sa lahat ng aking mga kakailian na imbagabigat. Of course, as we still today recover from the twin typhoons of Egay and Goring, we recognize our issues in terms of flood control and resiliency. And of course, our perennial priorities of agriculture, tourism, and social services. And of course, to attract investment, to cement Ilocos Norte as the commercial hub of Northern Luzon, and the Philippine Gateway to East Asia. May we today, most importantly, continue the vision that our dear President 
Ferdinand Edrilyn Marcos Sr. had for our dear province of Ilocos Norte. Today, we look back upon his greatness, our memories of his accomplishments, and of course, we forge our path ahead to build the Ilocos Norte that we all seek and dream of. It is my distinct honor and privilege, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce to you the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Governor uh, Matt, uh, for your kind introduction. Uh, please uh, take your seats. Ilocos Norte Second District uh, Representative uh, Angelo Marcos Barba, uh, Ilocos Norte Vice Governor Cecilia Araneta Marcos. Uh, hanggang ngayon, hindi pa ako masanay sanay na binabati ko yung anak ko na Ilocos Norte First District Representative Sandro Marcos. Parang totoo, ano? Uh, uh, joining us today is uh, our AFP Chief of Staff, uh, General Romy Browner. Andito rin po ang ating uh, Chief PNP, uh, Chief PNP uh, Benji Acorda. Hindi kaya tayo nahahalata na puro tiga-amyana ng ating mga naging opisyal. <laughs> Officials, employees, residents of the city of, the, of Batak, uh, led by the mayor, Mayor Albert Chua. Of course, my greetings would not be complete uh, without uh, greeting our First Lady, First Lady Lisa uh, Raneta Marcos. I saw the uh, Consul General, the Chinese Consul General, was also here earlier. Oh, there, uh, Your Excellency, good, uh, uh, good morning. Other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, naimbag nga daw kada kayo amin. It's uh, with a very grateful and a joyful heart that we commemorate Apulay, my father, President Ferdinand Edralin Marcos, on his 106th birthday. It is indeed heartwarming to revisit the life that has left such a rich legacy to our nation, especially when done in the company of our family and in the company of our friends in our community. So even if I did not get to name you all, allow me to thank each of you, officials, residents, guests alike, for taking the time out of your day to celebrate with us and to honor my father. For the peace and order that he fought and stood for, the development that he inspired our own citizens to build, and the dreams that he left in the hearts of many, he remains a true Filipino and Ilocano icon whose exceptional mind matched the nation-loving spirit that he possessed and that he demonstrated. So as we remember and pay tribute to his memory, let this gather gathering serve as a testament to the unwavering pursuit of unity that he so passionately espoused for our people. In his memory, may our actions from this point on be directed by the desire to preserve and share the rich heritage of our province, of our nation. To the young leaders and government officials, it is my earnest hope that my late father's values, ideals, and visions for the country will spur you into aspiring for greater roles and more meaningful endeavors much like how these have inspired me. It is not necessary for us to hold ceremonies, parades, or the like, to give credit to the efforts and sacrifices of Apulakai and those who have gone before him who share a deep and committed love for the Philippines. Instead, let us act in our own small and unique ways to support government, to support our people, 
and all the initiatives and programs and continue to instill in every Filipino the sense of ownership and accountability in building our great nation. The Philippines is ours to love, and the path to a new Philippines, a more equitable, sustainable, and resilient one, is ours to make. My profound thanks to all of you for celebrating with us the life of President Ferdinand Edalin Marcos. Just stay Gagayem ken kakabsat, ti ilalaen tayo nga ama iti daytoy a pagilyan ken maipagpanpanak kel tayo nga Ilocano, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, our beloved President, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr.